Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? About a week ago I went to the Prince Edward Theatre to see a very special concert which featured two amazing theatre performers. One of them is Kerry Ellis and the other one is Louise Damon. Now if you're a theatre fan you probably had heard of this concert because uh, there's been loads of hype about it for months and months. I mean Kerry Ellis and Louise Damon are probably some of the biggest and most well-known musical theatre performers in the West End anyway and I've enjoyed seeing them in different shows that they've done since, I mean I, I saw Kerry Ellis first in 2007 as Alphaba in Wicked which seems like a very long time ago now and then Louise Damon also I discovered her because of Wicked because she, she played um, Glinda and then she wanted to play Alphaba. However just in case you've never heard of these two people the first performer is Kerry Ellis and like I said she's been in loads of musicals like Wicked, We'll Rock You, Miss Saigon, My Fair Lady, Oliver, Les Mis, Rent more recently and even Cats. She did Cats last year at the Palladium. So she's done loads <laughs> in the West End and she's probably the queen of musical theatre at the moment I'd say. She's also released a couple of albums and they're both great and yeah that's Kerry Ellis and then we've got Louise Damon and she has also been in quite a lot of shows like Evita and Guys and Dolls and Wicked and the reason I'm saying Wicked so excitedly is because she's actually the only performer in the whole world to have played both roles of Alphaba and Glinda in the musical production of Wicked which is insane like that is talent because I mean to play any of those roles even just one of them is amazing let alone both so anyway that's just a little bit of information about the two of them which you probably already knew if you're a musical theatre fan and yeah um, I went along to this concert I first heard of it when they announced it months ago and uh, I've got a friend called Rebecca who you probably all know um, and she's like the organiser of everything she's like when she wants to do something she just like if, basically if it wasn't for Rebecca I probably wouldn't do half the things I do in my life because she's just on it when she wants to do something she's like Sam do you want to do something I'm like yes and she just like buys tickets and organises everything and she like asked me if I wanted to go back in like I don't know was it April or May or something like that and I said yes because I mean two of the best performers I've seen on stage doing a concert together in one of my favourite theatres there was no reason for me to say no I actually probably wouldn't have gone if it was only one of them performing on their own uh, just because at the time I was trying to save money and stuff it was before I was going to Disney World and stuff and I was trying to save money for my holiday um, but because it was two of them together it was something special something different like uh, funnily enough I'd actually just seen Kerry Ellis maybe I think a few days before um, they announced this in another concert that she did on her own so I wasn't in Russia and slowly see Kerry Ellis on her own again or Louise Damon on her own but because they were doing everything together I thought this is like a one-off thing and I want to be there and I'm so glad I said yes because later on it was announced that one of my actual full-on favourite performers Caroline Deverell who I've probably mentioned before on this channel she used to be in Billy Elliot that's how I discovered her a few years ago uh, she's just an awesome performer uh, she was uh, going to be doing some backing vocals for them which was awesome and so was Gentini who is another performer that I've seen quite a few times on stage so yeah I guess I just want to say a few words about the concert because I think if you were there you know how great it was so we're taking this video back to old school Sam for God videos like when I first started making videos on YouTube they were all about me just talking about shows and musicals and concerts that I went to very simple and this is how <laughs> this video is going to go like as well I love the concert now firstly one thing that was very exciting for me is just going back to the Prince Edward Theatre you may or not know this but I used to work at the Prince Edward Theatre for about nine months I started in like July of last year and I finished in March of this year so yeah nine months I was working there fun of house ushering and stuff and like you know, a VIP hostess and bar work and just fun of house stuff basically and yeah those were some great months I made some great friends there I loved all my colleagues and even though I decided to leave because you know you can watch a video of why I left and stuff I'll leave a description the video link thing uh, down below if you want to know why I left but despite my reasons for leaving I enjoyed uh, my time there just because I loved the people that I was working with and so it was just really nice to go back there and actually see something other than Miss Saigon because I can't explain to you how sick and tired I am of the show Miss Saigon even though Miss Saigon is an amazing show and I loved it the first few times I saw it uh, because I was forced to see it pretty much every day for nine months um, I'm just bored of it, I'm literally sick of it so it just felt nice to go to that theatre um, that I'm so familiar with like I know everything about that theatre I know where all the toilets are, where all the fire exits are, just everything um, that theatre was basically my home for nine months um, and to go there and see two of my 
my favourite performers, well three of them including Caroline Deverell, was just amazing. And also one other thing that I really like about events like this, just like concerts, um, is that you get to see loads of other theatre fans. So it's one of those things where like, you know, because I've met so many other theatre fans throughout my theatre going life, uh, basically since 2008 or 9 when I moved to London and I started to go to theatre a lot, I've just met a lot of people, you know, in day twos or at the theatre, just like people sat next to me online um, and it's it's not often that I get to see them these days because you know we all have different interests when it comes to theatre we might be going to different shows different musicals and stuff but when it comes to concerts like this like one-off things like this almost everyone that I know or have met throughout the years goes to them and so then you just bump into them and it's like well I've not seen you in like four years I met you years ago at like that random wicked show but it's nice to see you um, so that was a it was just really nice it was like a very nice atmosphere I literally like I saw someone that I used to go to Wicked with quite a lot um, and I hadn't seen her for like literally about three or four years and it was so nice to bump into her. Uh, just other people as well, people from all over the country and even Ireland and stuff I travelled to come to see this concert and it was just nice to see them. So it was like a nice little reunion of theatre fans and it literally I felt like I was walking around the theatre and I knew everyone. And I mean that because I didn't just know people who were going to see the show, like audience members. I also knew pretty much a lot of the front of house people who still work there. So it was a very weird experience for me. Like, it was just nice to see so many people in one evening. But anyway, let's talk about the actual concert now. The concert was probably one of the best theatre concerts I've ever been to. And I genuinely mean that. And I've been to loads over the years. Loads of, you know, theatre concert performers just like, you know, performing songs for musicals and whatnot. And yeah, I've, I've seen loads, but this one just felt so so good like it was it was just really good because you could tell that Kerry Ellis and Louise Damon are genuine friends they had full-on banter on stage and that just you know bounced off on us I guess and it made the audience very happy and I don't know basically you could just tell that they were having fun on stage um, both Kerry Ellis and Louise Damon and also everyone else that was on stage like the band as well uh, Craig Adams who does the like musical piano stuff and he's amazing um, you know Callan Deverell, Jennifer Tini, everyone in the band just they looked like they were having a great time and that made us have a really good time as well and also it was just really funny like like I said uh, because Louise Damon and Kerry Ellis have known each other for I believe they said 20 years or something they went to college together drama school and uh, yeah you could tell you could see that on stage they just had great chemistry so it wasn't just like watching two really good singers sing amazing songs because they're both fantastic singers anyway everyone knows that they played Alphaba in Wicked so you know they can sing and belt amazingly but you know it was also seeing like two friends on stage and having a laugh and I had a laugh, like people, the audience were laughing uh, at some of the stuff that was going on stage because they were just saying funny stuff and they were having a laugh and it just made everybody, it, it put everyone in a really good mood basically. It's probably the most I've laughed at a theatre concert. It almost felt like a comedy show and a concert at the same time, which is a good thing. I just felt great watching the show, like I felt very happy because I was seeing a lot of talent on stage, I mean both of them and everyone else on stage, like I said the band, uh, the backing singers, everyone just was amazingly talented and it's great to see that. And was singing some great songs but also just you know the fun that they were having as well just made me happy and I laughed a lot and I smiled a lot and so did my friends and everybody in the auditorium and yeah it was just great like um I've been to loads of concerts of Kerry Ellis's before and I think I've seen Louise Damon in concert once before but you know it was just good to see them together and uh yeah they sang some great songs some that I'd heard them sing before uh, some I hadn't um probably one of my highlights was um like a medley thing that they did um, in Act 1 and it was just fun. I think anyone who was there knows what I'm talking about. But they were just having a laugh, like making fun of each other and like jokingly saying, oh, I'm better than you, blah, blah, blah. And it was just hilarious. It was one of the most clever and hilarious things I've ever seen done on stage uh, in a musical theatre concert type thing. Uh, and I loved it. It was just definitely a highlight. It was just so, so funny. Um, and honestly, you just had to be there. Also, um, Kerry Ellis sang uh, Don't Cry From Me Argentina, I believe. I think yeah and that was great because that's one of my favorite songs that she's ever covered or sang um, and Louise Demon sang um, uh, Little Bird uh, who which is originally by Annie Lennox uh, one of my mom's favorite singers 
and I love a Louise Lehman's cover of it. Also, they sang a couple of songs from a chess, like I Know Him So Well, which was great. Uh, that's one, probably one of my... In fact, the, the musical score for chess is probably one of my favourite musical scores. Uh, even though I've never actually seen chess properly, like, live. I've seen a video of it, I've seen a DVD from the Royal Albert Hall uh, from a few years back, but I've never seen it properly done. And yet I really love the music for it. Uh, it's just great. So I loved hearing them do that. They also did Nobody's Side, which I love it. Like, well, that's one of my favourite songs. And you know, I, I love Carrie Ellis's version of it, and it was even better, you know, sung with Carrie Ellis and Louise Damon. Of course, they did For Good, which was great. Louise Damon did Glinda's parts, even though she's played both, and Carrie Ellis did um, Alphabet, of course, and it was just great. That was probably one of the best things. They also did um, Chandelier, you know, the song Chandelier that everybody knows by Sia? Uh, they did that, which uh, when they first started doing it, like singing it, I was like, really? That's not choice. But it worked really well. I, I love their voices on it. Even though there was a bit of a random choreography going on by two dancers, I think it was three dancers that came on stage and it was just a bit... They were great, the dancers, don't get me wrong, they were amazing, but it was a bit like... It felt a little bit out of place, the dancing, but, you know, vocally it was, it was great and I loved their version of it. Basically, I could go on and on about this concert forever, but I won't bore you anymore. I just want to say that it was a great night, great evening, Probably one of my favourite nights at the theatre, even though it wasn't really a musical or a show, it was more of a concert. I just loved it. I think it was just the whole atmosphere, like like I said, the crowd were just loving it. And it was just great to see so many musical theatre uh, fans, sorry, being united to come and see this great concert. I spoke to some of the front of house people at the Prince Edward afterwards, who I know, like some of my old colleagues there. And they all were completely amazed by it, because they obviously didn't get to watch it themselves, because they were like working and stuff. But they could hear the crowd and they were like, wow, because uh, when I used to work at the Prince Edward Theatre, we did have a few other concerts, random concerts on Sundays and stuff apart from Miss Saigon and, and nothing that I'd seen there had got such a great response or as, as great of a response as this did and they were all amazed, like um, some of my colleagues there, ex-colleagues, don't didn't even really know who Kerry Ellis or Louise Damon were uh, which is weird, I know, but some of them are like from you know other countries and not from England necessarily and they were like, we couldn't believe the screams and the, the, and the cheers and everything that we heard and it was just a great evening. I do want to give a very very quick shout out to all my ex-colleagues I saw there. So Hermie, Anna, Marie, Amanda, Jason, Nicole and Ben. I think that's everyone that I saw anyway. It was really nice to see them very briefly and uh, especially thank you to Ben as well because he was kind enough to give me a free chocolate ice cream in the interval which was really nice because those chocolate ice creams <laughs> costs four pounds at the theatre if you buy them which is ridiculous i know but you know you're at the theatre and stuff and it just made my evening really it made my evening even better just having that chocolate ice cream for free so thanks ben but yeah honestly um i i love that theatre prince edward theatre i've got some great memories there and even more better memories now thanks to uh, the concert that i just saw this is the program actually for it. i'm going to show it to you now um they did have a nice little program here with uh, some pictures here as you can see uh, this might be interesting for you See there's Kerry Ellis, there's Alpha Burn, uh, Nancy and Oliver and uh, Louise Damon here and it was just a great evening. I really, really enjoyed it. If you do happen to go to uh, the Prince Edward Theatre to see Miss Saigon in the following months, do say hi to the people working there, the front of house people, because they're all great, like, they're all such great people. Obviously, I don't know every single one of them now because there's been new people now who've started there since I left in March who I don't know. But some of them I still know, and you might recognise some of them from my videos. Like, I know Ben says that <laughs> he's had a couple of people go up to him and say that they saw him in my video, YouTuber Whispers Challenge, that I did last year with him. So that's great, he loves it. But yeah, the stage door was crazy. I went to the stage door, not, like, properly at the stage door, but I was, like, hanging around the stage door after the show, waiting for some of my colleagues because we wanted to go out for, like, a drink and stuff. Stuff. And I could see people literally crowding like around Louise Damon and Kerry Ellis when they came out. It was crazy. I I almost felt bad for both of them. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like that coming out of the stage door and being full on surrounded by them. It was almost like it was like magnetic, like people just would go anywhere they went and it was crazy. I, I don't know how they cope with it, particularly because like Kerry Ellis is pregnant as well at the moment, if you didn't know. So I don't know, like, I just feel like if you go to the stage door, you know, you don't need to <laughs> full on, like, I don't know, just be a bit more respectful is what I think, but I mean, who am I? I'm not them, maybe they enjoyed it, I don't know. It just felt a bit awkward watching it happen, I was just like, 
um and i just kind of as soon as my friends came out we went and i was like i can't deal with the stage door anymore it's just crazy so we went and we had a nice little drink as well afterwards which was nice to catch up with a couple of them so yeah that's what i want to say if you were at that concert leave comments down below and let me know what you thought of it i do want to actually give a shout out to two people as well i met two of my viewers there which was amazing both of these viewers i'd met before actually so this is my second time meeting them one of them is called josh and i saw him like in the interval in the stalls and he came up to me and it was just really nice seeing him because funnily enough the last time the first time i met him was a few uh, months back when i was still working at the prince Edward theater and i was an usher and he came up to me and it was just nice to bump into him again and just have a little chat and he's doing really well and also alex i met alex at the stage door afterwards whilst i was waiting for my friends to come out i met him very very briefly at the olivia's back in april uh, we didn't get to talk much whereas the you know uh, last week at the concert at the stage door I managed to talk to him for a few minutes and it was it was great I honestly I can't explain to you how much I love meeting people that watch my videos in real life because you can actually talk to them properly whereas you know there's only so much you can do through comments and stuff whereas in person you can actually chat and it's really really nice so thank you to both Josh and Alex for coming up and saying hi and yeah that's all I want to say I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye